original Diary of Wimpy Kid book. This one was okay. I mean, it was kind of all over the place with like Halloween and Christmas and a ton of different things going on. But it also wasn't that bad, but it wasn't that good. So I think I'm going to put it out an A. Okay, so next is Roger Girls. This is definitely one of my favorite books, mainly because it focuses on my favorite character, Roderick. It's so funny. Throughout the book, there's so many jokes that I constantly laugh at. So I'm going to put this at an S. Okay, I can't decide where the last straw should go. I mean, it's okay, but it's definitely one of the weakest, in my opinion. It's just kind of all over the place, kind of like Double Down. But I think I might put this at an A. Next up, we have Dog Days. Okay, this is definitely one of my favorite Wimpy Kid books, like, of all time. I think it might actually be my favorite. It's just the whole summer theme. It just, it's so cool to me. That's why this goes at an S. Next up, we have The Ugly Truth. Okay, this book just really annoys me. Why is it about Greg getting older when he's just in middle school for the rest of the series? It does not make sense. And plus, I just don't really enjoy it when I read it. That's why I think this is a B. Next up, we have Cabin Fever. Okay, I really, really enjoy this one. Just the dad not being there is something new, and I think it's really cool. And it's kind of like Greg and Roderick taking care of themselves because the mom can't do anything because her glasses broke. So I think this was like really the first new thing to the series at the time. That's why this goes at an S. Okay, you guys are probably thinking, why are you giving so many S's? Well, just so you know, I'm going to be getting a lot more picky now because these books just get worse after this. So enjoy, um me being a little frustrated next up we have the third wheel okay why is just greg randomly like i'm gonna go get a girlfriend literally the whole series even before and after this book he says i hate girls i don't understand girls so it's like it doesn't it's so confusing that's why i'm gonna give this a b next up we have hard luck okay with the random ideas like why like why would you make a book about a fortune telling weird magic ape Okay, I can't. I just do not enjoy reading this at all. I just think it's so boring. No offense, Jeff Kinney. I just, it's, I don't really like it at all. I'm gonna give this a B. Next up, we have The Long Haul. The book! I actually really, really enjoy this one. I really like it because, kind of like Cabin Fever, it was a new thing for the series at the time. You know, before they didn't make, like, a bajillion different vacation books. This is definitely one of my favorite Wimpy Kid books, and I'm gonna give it an S. Next up, we have Old School. I think that this was like the last really good Wimpy Kid book. That's because most of them after this are kind of just copies of previous books. I like how in this one there's more than just like Greg and Rowley. Like when they go camping there's a ton of different people there. And like that kid named Fru and then that person who's in Juvenile or something. So I'm going to give this an S. And don't worry, it's the last one. Next up we have Double Down. Alright, that's a B, let's continue. Next up we have The Getaway. Honestly, I have mixed opinions on this one. Like when I was in Hawaii, I really enjoyed it, but like sometimes I just really hate it. And I'm kind of off and on in between those, so I'm going to give it an A. Next up, we have The Meltdown. I mean, this one was okay, but I think it was kind of a copy of The Cabin Fever. But I really did enjoy the big snowball fight at the end. And some parts I thought were pretty interesting, so I'm going to give this an A. Next up, we have Wrecking Ball. Okay. This book, it wasn't really that bad. The whole, like, um, focusing on the house and the family was definitely something new for the series. And, like, the whole idea of moving out, it's it's just a really cool concept. But it also wasn't the best, because most parts were, like, really unrealistic, like Manny building a house all by himself. So I'm gonna give this an A. Next up, we have The Deep End. Oh my gosh, Jeff Kinney, what's the point of copying two other books? Like, the first vacation book was pretty good. The second one was a little bit worse, but it was still fine. Oh my gosh, but the third one sucked so bad. I'm sorry. I'm gonna give this a B. Lastly, we have Big Shot. Okay, I'm gonna give you my honest opinion. This was actually pretty good. It's definitely not an S, but it is pretty good. So I'm gonna give this an A. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. And comment down below if you want me to do any more videos like this. Maybe I'll even do a ranking of the movies. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. 